Yesterday was the launch of a new AI device from the secretive company called Humane. It was a long-awaited day by many out in Silicon Valley. It's one of the first AI wearables that brings the power of ChatGPT at the touch of a button to you. It's an AI wearable called the AI Pen, a device that sees what you see, projects images and text onto the palm of your hand, and should be truly personal and start to understand you. Is this the future of devices? Let's take a look. Now, this wasn't the first time that we got a glimpse of this new AI hardware. The company had soft launched this at a fashion show in Paris back in September. It was an interesting but maybe unsurprising choice for a company from previous Apple employees. And it wasn't even without precedent because back in 2012, Google tried launching its Google Glasses on the runway in a fashion show that they had in New York. Well. We all remember how that ended up for them. The choice of showing the device at a fashion show like Google Glass before it was intentional to try to make the device seem trendy, stylish, and totally not awkward to wear. It would have probably been better if they had a group of celebrity users start to wear them out for more casual day-to-day -day things to be shot by paparazzi and have people kind of question what those devices were, but that's not the route that Humane went. After the show, I think a lot of people were still wondering, what does this device even do? And so today, in a clean but uninspiring 10 minute video, make me sound more excited. The founders of Humane explained and launched their new AI wearable device that they have called the AI Pin. In the video and on the website, they talk about moving beyond touch and beyond screens. I've got my music controls. If I go to the left, I can go back. If I go to the right, I can skip. If I was to go down, I can pause. And to get back to my home screen, I just close my hand. Okay. Got my clock. Weather. The date. If I tilt my hand up. While all of this seems about as good as a smartphone, you can start to get into some of the more special AI features like summaries of your day or being able to have the device see what's in front of you to track your nutrition. One of the things I like most about messaging is getting caught up. My AI summarizes what's important so I don't have to go back and read every message. Catch me up. Yanir asked if you want to get hookfish with Sam this week. Michelle sent some notes about today's design sync. Andy and Adam are on their way over. Or using AI to search through messages. What's the gate code that Andrew sent me? The gate code that Andrew sent is 7361. Before, I'd have to scroll through a long text chain to the last time I went to Andrew's house. Need to think about. How much protein? These almonds have 15 grams of protein. Great. I'm going to eat it. Enjoy it. It can write messages for you. And one of the cooler examples was being able to do live translation that actually sounds like the voice of the person speaking. Estamos casi listos para enviar la versión final. We are almost ready to ship the final version. Great. I can't wait. Thanks so much. Now, all of these features had me feeling like this wasn't much better than a smartphone. I've probably been a little bit too harsh on the overall presentation of the AI pen. I want to be clear, it's an incredibly ambitious attempt at a new hardware device, and there's a lot to like in what they've tried to accomplish here. The demo does a little bit better job of explaining some of the actual benefits that you might get from this type of device. Using AI with voice and at the touch of a button, it's certainly the next step in increasing the utility of a technology like ChatGPT from OpenAI, especially if it can do things like take actions for you or give you real-time information. I think I speak for pretty much everyone when I say Siri, Alexa, and the Google Assistant are just bad. They ask for a price comparison of a book that's being looked at in front of them. Comes to retail. The AI pen allows you to shop in the real world. Hold up an item 
to learn more about it and transact seamlessly on the go without relying on screens. How much is this online? This is $28 online. Great. Buy it. It's a neat idea of a seeing computer, and it's a compelling one. It might even make sense now with how good OpenAI's vision model can perform, but I'm curious how useful it would be beyond things like the shopping price example that they show. If we could do things like see in front of you a broken bike and tell you what tools you might need to fix it and the steps to take, I'd be more interested. This was an exact example that OpenAI demonstrated, but all of those instructions came through in a chat window. Another compelling idea is a way to quickly capture photos or videos with a quick double tap of the device. When you want to take a photo, just double tap. Or video, staying in the moment, capturing the whole scene, and generating a gorgeous image. The speed and ease of doing this would be really exceptional if you're doing active things like maybe riding a bike or skiing. Most of the time when you're in the moment or a lot of action, pulling out your phone might not be feasible and might not be something you want to do to stay safe. I'm not sure that outweighs the bulky carrying of this device and I'm curious about how good the pictures would actually look. The idea that I hope grows a lot is the idea of personalization. The idea that AI is intelligent, not just because of what it can do, but because of the context it knows about you. In one example, the device recommends a place to eat based on the preferences of a friend. He goes on to explain that the device knew so because he made a note that Ken likes sushi. Everything you input into notes and then recall what's relevant. Where should Ken and I grab dinner tonight? Here are some recommendations for you. Sushi Ron, Shisen, and Elephant Sushi. Now, how did it know? Because I had input a note a while ago that Ken likes sushi. It's a funny user experience example because I can't imagine a single person ever doing this. But it's still an interesting idea nonetheless. It's pretty clear that for this to work, those types of things need to have an input. But imagine if the AI was smarter than that and knew you and Ken had been to sushi every time that you meet up. It could then deduce that sushi is probably a good recommendation for the next time. It could even see what the latest and trending new sushi restaurants are in your area and make a really good recommendation. Bonus points if it could then go on to make that reservation for you. Physically, the device is probably too big to make most people want to wear it. The pack of the device is actually a battery pack that magnetically attaches it to your clothing. They also seem to be selling some additional accessories to make this fit on a bag. I'm sure they'll have a nice price tag for that. And, you know, I really can't imagine doing anything active with this heavy hardware device attached to me. It even looked during the presentation like it was pulling down his shirt a bit. Have you ever tried to run with a cell phone in your gym shorts pocket? Yeah, I'll pass having anything strapped to me while I'm trying to do something active. Overall though, I'm really glad Humane has attempted this. The ideas are ambitious and hardware is really hard. Humane isn't alone. OpenAI has been exploring what an AI hardware device might look like with none other than Johnny Ive who helped bring to life so many of the Apple devices that we love. Rewind AI is exploring an AI hardware companion to its always recording software that it has for your desktop and phone. And there are numerous other startups that are coming up with ideas on their own. In general, it feels like the right thing to attempt. I just wonder how the execution will actually look like. And that leads me to the big question, the big elephant in the room. Isn't Apple just going to do this? Almost every feature seemed like something I could already do with an Apple Watch or my phone in a way that doesn't feel awkward or forced. With Apple Vision, new AirPods, and future versions of the Apple Watch on the horizon, I have no doubt Apple will make a splash into the AI space with either a partnership or their own model to really reinvent or level up Siri. At $649 and a $24 monthly subscription fee, I'll be interested to see who ends up actually buying the Humane AI pen. I think we'll look back on a lot of the ideas shown here today as they come into different devices that we already use. It's definitely exciting times for the space, and I can't wait to see what comes next. So let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like Humane's AI pen? Are you going to buy one? Was it worth the hype up to this point for you? 
as always, thanks for watching and catch you next time.